everybody. I'm here at Clark College about to do a keynote presentation for their opening two-day conference. Um, and the topic is adaptability is the new change. So about 400 people here. Uh, super pumped for this topic because change is kind of one of those things that it's not going anywhere. So we've got to learn to adapt and become more adaptable to the ever-changing landscape of life. And I began to realize that I was playing the victim to my life. I was playing the victim. I was blaming God for taking away my dream from me. I was blaming other people. I was in this blame and victimization mode. Anybody know anybody like this? And what I realized is that if I continue to play the victim, if I continue to point the finger and blame other people, instead of taking responsibility for my life and my career, then I'm just going to be a failure my entire life. So one day I just made a big shift and I said, I'm done being a victim. I'm going to approach, and this is my challenge to each and every one of you, is I'm going to approach my career now as if I'm running a business within the organization. And I want to challenge you to do that because when you do that, you step into a whole new level of responsibility and ownership of your position, your objectives, and your goals, and you step up in a bigger way. And so within six months, I moved into a management position, started managing people, and I fell in love with teaching, training, and developing people. I got the bug for it, um, but I couldn't stand my bosses. Anybody? Can you relate? Oh, God. Bob's looking at you. <laughs> Got some smart people. Some of you went like this. I saw one guy reach over. No, put your hand down, man. Put your hand down. My name is Dr. Judith hernandez Surfat. I'm the director of teaching and learning at Clark College. And we hired George because we wanted a high energy speaker who could help our organization uh, adapt to change. Uh, the presentation was amazing, and we look forward to connecting with him in the future. So I was born in a small town in Colorado, called Pueblo, Colorado, and here's my family. Uh, looked like it was a rough day for everybody, right? <laughs> but by the time I was four years old, I knew what I wanted to do when I grew up. It was play professional football. And I see you right now, you're scanning me. You're scanning all five, seven, and three quarters of me. But that was the dream growing up. And here's an important lesson when it comes to change and adaptability is, when I was a kid, I grew up in a neighborhood where the kids were three and four and five years older than me. So every time we have to go out and play football, what did I have to do to play at their level? I had to run fast, right? I had to play harder. I had to step up my game. And what I, what I realized looking back is I got a really important early childhood lesson on the importance of surrounding yourself with people who are better than you. If you want to learn quickly, you surround yourself with people who are smarter than you, people who are more able than you, so that you can begin to model them and condense time and condense the learning curve. Hey everybody, it's George Carroll. I'm here at Clark College, and these amazing folks have an important message for you. Yeah!